So I'm going to um, go through the whole process from um, start to finish of how to apply the bone tool to a cartoon character that I have here. Um, let's see. I guess first what I'll do, I'll go over, um, this is the uh, the setup I generally have for all the the uh, characters that I use. And I think it's pretty useful just about, um, you know, if you're uh, animating your characters by using symbols. Um, here I see all the body parts that I use, um, the head, the torso, uh, the upper and lower torso and the neck. I generally don't include the neck in it because uh, um, I include the neck within the torso uh, symbol, the upper torso symbol, even though it can move, but I generally include it in the upper, tor upper torso symbol. So that means, you know, whenever I move the upper torso, the neck moves with it and is not moved, um, you know, independently. On the lower torso, the upper leg, lower leg, the foot, these are all the symbols that I use. Now, the red dots show you where I put the joints. And uh, I'm going to show you that um, when I start the demonstration. Um, notice in the in the lower torso, um, I have, see, you can see the two hip joints, and then there are two joints here. Um, you'll see why I do that as well, um, as with the um, the symbols, the upper upper torso symbol. Um, I'm going to be using like a dot symbol to put in the two the two joints in the tor in the symbol, since uh, generally you're not allowed to put um, two joints in any one symbol. So I'll show you how I do that. All right, so here's the character I'll be using. Um, I'll go into it. So let's begin. So here you see, uh, I'm going to highlight the um, all the symbols so you can see them. There you go. So, you know, by doing that, you can see how all of them are, are uh, they're overlapped, but they're all, uh, you know, separate symbols. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to be using this dot symbol. Now, if you notice, um, with this, I have uh, two places. Actually, I'll, I'll, I think I'll make this a little bigger. There we go. All right, and I'll um, be using this dot symbol. So I'll actually copy it. Um, I'm going to put one. Here, um, I am going to put the other one uh, here. Good. So let's begin. So activate the bone tool, and this will be the center point of the figure. All right. Um, just like with the human body, that's generally you know the the half point. So I'll. Start the first um, bone here, then attach to the torso. Very similar to what you see here. This is what I'm pretty much uh, following. And then notice, even though the um, that dot symbol disappears, notice that there's still the I, that the bone tool still shows the plus sign to add it, so it can still sense that it's there, even though you don't see it. And there you go. So now I'm going to make this cross that's like the um, the shoulder joint so attaches to one arm uh, let's make sure which attaches here there you go attached here there you go um, then I'm going to attach it to the hip there you go then to one leg there you go the next leg there you go to the lower leg, there you go, lower leg, there you go, to the foot, there you go, to the foot, there you go, um, lower arm, lower arm, uh, hand, hand, and then to the head. That's it. Um, so, you know, just so I'll be able to move it a lot easier, what I'll start doing is the center point, I'm going to make sure the center point, the joint here is not um, 
can't move it. So I'll enable that or deselect enabling tool. So now if you notice, I'll be able to um, actually move it just like that. So, so now it's spinning out of control. So a couple points you want to do, you may want to do is this center point, I make this joint um, fixed so you know the body doesn't sway from left to right. And also this joint, it's important to make this center joint as well, um, make that disable the movement as well. So now, you know, see, everything moves pretty uniform. Notice that the torso is behind the, um, the lower torso. And that's, that's pretty simple. All I have to do is um, click away, select this symbol. And then remember I told you about the shortcut of uh, command up. Or you can, you, you know, right click, arrange, and then center front. Okay. I can send it back or bring it to the front again. There you go. Um, let's see. Notice that the uh, the right arm, the right leg is supposed to be in front. This left leg is supposed to be behind. So I'm going to select that or select everything and send them behind. There you go. I'll select every all the uh, right arm and then bring them to the front. There you go. And there you go. <laughs> and that's it. Now your, your character is ready to be animated. There you go. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, you can move them how you want. And the head, you know, that's it. Now you can pretty much, you know, put them in whatever pose you want. Okay, I'll show you a couple things here. Now notice, um, see when I bend the legs, that happens. You can easily correct that by highlighting that and then use the transform tool and just match it up. There you go. Um, so remember I said you, you can still, you know, separate and modify um, the, the symbols by just simply using the transform tool and isolating them. So for example, if I want to um, go into the torso, I can still do that. I'll um, select it, and there I go. I'm within, see, notice I have here the neck is actually included. See, is included in the torso symbol. And then I head back out, and, um, and that's it. So uh, another thing you'll notice is that, notice all the symbols that I have. See, I label the symbols in this way to make them, you know, a lot, easy to organize the lower this is like um it's a bob marley character i have uh i named it bb1 but lower leg left uh lower leg the left le left leg lower left leg foot left leg upper this is just a little system i use you can use whatever system you want but the point i'm making is is that notice that for all these symbols you know the files are empty and that's because once the armature is created it pretty much you know it's almost like it absorbs itself in all of the uh, the symbols and it becomes one thing so you could actually I'll just show you you could actually highlight all these layers and um, and just delete them see you could actually delete all the layers um, and then all you have is just the armature that's it um, you know and then you can actually just uh, you can still you know Manipulate the size of the overall thing if you want. Um, I use the transform tool. I'll shrink him a little bit. There you go. See, so you're seeing all the symbols are still shown there, you know, as if the uh, the bone tool is not applied. And then I uh, use the select tool, click on it, and then the bone appears. So I just do a quick little animation. Um, so you can see how it works. I'll highlight, uh, I'll say 30 frames. Um, F5. Actually, the upper layer is just showing um, my logo <laughs> at the top. So I'll actually just delete that, just so everything is pretty clear. Um, so as I said before, you can just uh, create a pose by um, Stopping at any uh, frame you choose. I'll just stop it. I, I generally space mine at four or five. I'll use five again. 
and then I'll just move them. Okay, notice that little spacing. That's that's pretty not you know not anything uh, a big deal. Actually, what I what I didn't do was fix that joint, and maybe I should do that. Um, let's go back. See, I'm undoing everything. This joint, I'm going to disable it from rotating, so it stays fixed whenever I am um, you know moving uh, his legs and so on. Actually, not that one. This one. Yeah, because I, uh, you know, made it smaller, it's a little bit harder to select the um, the joints that I don't want to move. Uh, see, but you know, overall, it's pretty pretty simple. It's, um, it's not much to it. There you go. So now, you know. I can swing his leg about. Notice that whenever I move his, uh, I'm, I'm actually selecting his thigh right now, and everything is moving around. If I want to, um, you know, prevent the foot from swinging around, I just hit select, and see, now I can control only the lower leg. If I want to control only the foot without everything moving with it, I just uh, hit shift and hold it down, and I know I can only, you know, uh, move his foot. You know, so it, you know, it makes it. Um, Pretty simple, this little shortcut you have. Um, so now, uh, not much motion. I'll actually do something uh, maybe a little more drastic. Uh, like that. You know, I'm just showing you how you, you know, how you animate this thing. I mean, the um, the most difficult part is already passed. So and that's it. You can have them jump if you want. You know for no reason um, so you could select everything and uh, and just move them let's try to do that select everything and I'm trying to move it but it's yeah there you go I use the transform tool to do that so I'll play it you know, it's, it's pretty cool. So I could have him land wherever I want, you know. Um, control tool again. I'm using the, sh the transform tool. Uh, falls. Um, I'll pose him a little bit. Uh, you know, it's pretty easy. I think the most difficult part is already passed, and that's when you're actually establishing or applying the bone tool to it. You know, it's, it's pretty simple stuff. All right, so I um, hope that uh, helped you guys to understand how you apply the bone tool to the characters. Um, that's pretty much how I do it. I mean, you know, you can design your characters the way you want. You don't have to necessarily use the um, um, the model that I use. You know, you can choose to do it how you want. But either case, you know, you'd have the symbols. It's good to have a little schematic diagram of how you're going to lay everything out. It makes the process really simple. All right, so uh, good luck and have fun with it.